Clay from Two Way Customs. I'm here with Rip Hamilton from the Detroit Pistons. Rip, first question I want to know: How exactly did you get with Grand Jordan? You got the gear, obviously. You got the shoes. Uh, what's the story behind that? Well, the thing about it, I, I've been always wearing Jordan since, you know, high school. I wore them in uh, college. You know, when I got to leave, I was actually signed with Nike, but uh, I always still wore Jordan. Uh, they used to get mad at me, mad at me because I was wearing the Jordan sneaker stuff like that. But when I played with Michael, you know, I always told him like, "Yo, man, you gotta put me in, put me in your stuff." And then one day he came back, you know, and I actually put me, put me in here. Probably my all-time favorite sneaker, probably uh, any of the Jordans, really, any of the Jordans, especially the Jordan uh, patent leather one. You know. Uh, I mean, really all the George. George the Air Force Ones. That's all I, I love to wear right there. All right, now you're a new dad uh, as of October 31st, all right? Yes, sir. How, how's he doing? Rip the third. Oh, man, it's exciting. You know, he's doing good. He's getting big as the day goes on. You know, doing new things, you know, and uh, I'm just proud to be a father. Well, you know what? I mean, he's long enough right now that regardless of what size sneaker I put him in, they still look like they fit, you know, so... Uh, he still don't like sneakers right now, you know what I'm saying, because he's still scrunching up his feet and stuff like that. But uh, once he begins to start walking, he's going to love him. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, now, three-point contest. Um, actually, that's it right there. You got the sleeve done. Uh, the sleeve is like... What, what was the story behind, behind the contest? Well, like I said, first of all, I appreciate the sleeve. You know, you took care of me once again. You know, uh... It was fun. It was exciting. You know, uh, I stepped on the line. Supposedly. A couple times. That's what they tell me. If they don't call them, I'm in the finals, you know, with a great chance to win. But uh, it was fun. It was exciting. You know, uh, it, it's nothing but entertainment. You know, and I had a good time. Coast feels like, you know, that's who I am. You know, that's, that's the city that made me into the person I am now. You know, and uh, I always loved being there, you know. The Rip City was the thing that, you know, my name is Rip. Nick Vitale one day on TV started calling me Rip City and everybody just ran with it. So uh, it means the world to me, you know. You can never forget where you come from. Oh yeah. I mean, I got so many sneakers, it's crazy. You know, you come to my house, I got stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks. You go back there in the training room, I got stacks and stacks. I mean, Jordan laces, you know, we got everything. I always tell people, man, we got the best product in the world. I couldn't even tell you how many pairs of sneakers I own, you know, but I know it's definitely over a couple hundred. I know it's probably over 300. Never even worn, though. Never even touched. Still in the box. <laughs> you know, so uh, I, it's, it's plenty of sneakers. I thought you did a great job. You know, uh, I'm excited about them. You know, uh, everybody loves them. And, you know, I love them. I'm, I'm going to break them out. You know, I think they, they're, they're like my, uh, my summertime sneakers. You know, something I can lounge and kick it in. You know what I'm saying? When you walk around somewhere like Miami, people be like, yo, where did you get them sneaks at? So, uh, you know, the one thing about them, the one thing I love about them, they're, they're very unique. You know, can't nobody say, I got the same sneakers that Rip Hamilton got on his feet. All right, that's it. Two-way customs, two-way Rip Hamilton. See you guys later.